and the results of the test will definitely surprise you. Have you ever wondered which of the three main data models has the best performance? Well, wonder no more, because I have tested all three of them for you. We are starting with a 240,000 rows Excel file and I have transformed it into a denormalized one table data model, a first norm star schema and a second norm snowflake schema. And, to make things more interesting, I am testing a few more datasets with even more records. The report itself is a basic HR report with measures ranging from the simple headcount to the more advanced attrition percentage and Bradford score. If you want to test your own data models in the future, then here's what you need to do first. Add a blank page to the report, go to Options and clear the cache memory, save and close the report. Then we open the report, open the performance analyzer pane and press start recording. As a matter of preference, I like to sort the results descending based on total time. Now let's run the test for the 240,000 rows for the flat file, star schema and snowflake schema. This is a bit surprising, but not so much. I was expecting that the star schema would have the best performance, but it looks like it was not the case. Anyway, let me tell you that regardless of the results of the tests here, if you don't follow the best practices in data modeling, your data model will perform poorly. And I have a video where I share with you 7 of the best practices in data modeling that I've learned after more than a decade doing data modeling in one way or another. I'll put a link in the description box below for you to watch it after this one. Now, will the star schema redeem itself when we have a larger file? For the 480,000 rows we have again the snowflake schema first, but it looks like the flat file is getting the second place. Hmm, things are not looking good for the star of the show right now. Surely at 950,000 row we will have the correct leader. And yes, we have the star schema on the first place, the snowflake schema on the second place and the flat file last. Just how it should be like, but this is not all. I'll give the star schema the chance to take the absolute crown by testing a 4.75 million rows dataset. But will the star schema take the crown? And surprise, we have pretty much the same results as the 240,000 data set with the difference that the star schema is quite behind the other two. I'll be honest with you, I was expecting the star schema to be the winner, but it looks like each data model performs pretty much the same, leaving us none the wiser. What you do need to keep in mind, and this is important, is that I have the file on my computer as a direct import mode. If you have the file on a server as a direct query, all these differences will grow exponentially. If you want to know how I choose my data model, watch this video over here where I share the exact formula that I use every single time. If you found this video useful, then smash that like button and consider hitting the notification bell. I'm Stellian, signing off, until next time, cheerio!